So you may ask the question, how can I have a positive attitude in the midst of such a negative circumstance? Trust me, I understand. I've gone through so many things that would uh, easily acquiesce to a negative attitude. And you may be in that season right now. In fact, you may be going through something so hard, so, so tumultuous that you're looking at this situation and you're asking the question, how do I change my attitude? First Peter chapter four, verses one through two, it says, you won't spend the rest of your lives chasing your own desires, but you will be anxious to do the will of God. What determines a person's happiness? Is it an impressive career or an ever-growing bank account or perhaps a stable family unit and many supportive friends, lots of toys? While each of these factors can have a significant influence on your life, there is one thing, only one, next to salvation that will have the single greatest effect on your behavior and success, your attitude. Many of you have heard it said, your attitude determines your altitude. First Peter, verse one through two in chapter four, it says this, believers should have the same attitude as Christ. So why do we still struggle with bitterness, anger, envy, and pride? To have the mind of Christ, the apostle Paul writes about in first Corinthians chapter two, verse 16, we must begin by changing our attitude. Yes our attitude, not others, no one else, ours. Attitudes precede and predict our future. In Luke 6, 45, Jesus says, a good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart. And an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. What you say flows from what is in your heart. As you think about the past events of your life, are you grateful or are you ungrateful? Are you forgiving or are you bitter? See, a bad attitude about the past will keep you from having the future God wants to give you. If you've gone through a hard situation where there's, there's unforgiveness, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and hoping that the other person dies. It's toxic. Bad attitudes begin as a negative thought, a pattern over time, such as false expectations, comparison with others, entitlement, self-pity. These negative patterns cause us to focus inwardly, leaving no room for the Holy Spirit to work in us. When we allow a bad attitude to plant itself in our minds, it's never for our benefit. It will only lead to failure, displeasure, and demotion. The Bible is your attitude indicator. When you go through difficulties, turn your eyes and your heart toward God's word. The Holy Spirit is your helper and he will help you change your attitude. Trust me, I understand. I've gone through some hard situations, transitioning careers, and I was asking the question, how is it possible to change my attitude? How is it possible to find gratitude? And I wanna let you know that these thought patterns can change and you can build a good attitude that includes gratitude, faith, humility, and respect. Good attitudes lead to success, favor, and promotion, not demotion. Attitudes are always a choice. Some people have miserable, circumstances and decide everyone else should be miserable as well. And if you're in that place, I understand. I've been there. But others, they choose to find happiness, even though they too have experienced misery. Happiness is not a byproduct of your circumstances. It's a chosen attitude. It's a choice. And you can make that choice today. In fact, you can make that choice right now. Attitudes also have consequences. This truth is essential for parents to understand if they want to raise godly children. Discipline cannot wait until bad behaviors and habits surface. Instead, parents must address problems while they are still in the attitude stage. Our Heavenly Father understands the importance of our attitudes. Because He loves us, God rewards good attitudes and disciplines bad ones. Paul writes, 
Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Allow God to transform your attitude today. When it seems impossible to have a good attitude, remember, Jesus' Jesus's promise is this. With God, everything is possible. Yes, everything. So with that being said, I know you may be in a tough situation, but I believe that if you make that choice today, it can change your life.